Hey Paul, what's that plant? That stuff is actually uh, an Australian coral tree. You could also call it, a lot of people call it a naked coral tree. You can see why. Uh, because this type of year, it's a, or this time of year, is early January. And you can see it's semi deciduous, so it's lost most of its leaves. It still has some green leaves up there uh, at the top. But you could also see the amazing, amazing flower structure. Um, Let's see, so the San Diego Zoo and Safari Park have some different varieties of this uh, tree. You can see some really big examples. Um, they're obviously native to Australia. They grow um, something like 30 feet tall and about 40 feet wide. So the, they're not the fastest grower, um, but they will grow quite large over time. And this tree is pretty um, special because in the summertime it's got nice green, dark green foliage and uh, it makes a good amount of shade. So you can see it's got some spines. It's, it's hardy to like the mid 20s. Um, this crossbreed is, uh, doesn't produce any seeds, but um, in Australia, a weird fact is, is that this is like considered a really invasive weed. So in storms, a, a, a branch may break off and head downstream and it could stick into the soil and apparently it will grow. So these, these are hugely, a big, a huge problem in Australia apparently, um, really messing up a lot of um, drainage and aqueducts and things like that. So out here though, um, it's not a problem. I think our climate's too dry, but, uh, and you can see it kind of gets a little bit uh, hurt by the frost. It will die back a little, but it, it will always come back. Um, there's some big thorns, so you want to be a little careful with this plant kind of similar to rose thorns as you can see um, so it may not want to be somewhere right where people are walking by uh, so we kind of put it down far away here also you can see that it will when this one was little I bought it it was the only one I could find but you could see that the, it had almost died from a frost and came back so there's some dead wood in there and apparently you have to be really careful because if, as this plant or tree gets really large um, some of the dead wood could actually rot and this whole plant could split as these tree, these branches get big. So um, there is another potential problem for this tree is that it could um, get really large and parts of it could break off. So you probably don't want to put it right next to your house. And a final note is if you kind of like a bit of fall color I guess in Southern California this tree will kind of suit your needs as you can see. It will always have some green leaves um, and then they'll turn yellow about this uh, December, January and uh, eventually fade to a brown. So you get a sort of a fall um, feeling from this tree I guess. It's a bit of a stretch. But anyway, super cool tree. Australian uh, coral tree, also known as the naked coral tree. If you want to see some big examples, go to um, San Diego Zoo or Safari Park. They have some really huge mature trees of just awesome flowers. So. Bam. <laughs>